look at the camera. Ah, it was there. We are part of an Erasmus Briggs project about prisoners of war on the Second World War. Our group chose the topic working experience and looking at this from the perspective of our three countries, Poland, Germany and France. The following theme is the project of our group work. First, we will give some general information. Prisoners working outside the camps in the fields or workshop had the most opportunities to flee. Very large groups of prisoners were employed outside the camps as forced laborers. They worked mainly in the fields, helping farmers and construction and industrial workers. The prisoners employed outside the camps often slept in better conditions, had more contact with each other and enjoyed the freedom of movement. The work was still really exhausting because it often lasted over 12 hours and in the beginning even Sundays were work days. Article 27 to 34 of the Geneva Convention from 1929 cover labor by prisoners of war. Work must fit the rank and health of the prisoners. The work must not be war related and must be safe work. In reality, the prisoners' lives were in greatest danger at work. They died of exhaustion or were tortured to death by the SS and Kafas. Work without protective clothing could also be deadly. The French prisoners of war were mostly not held in camps because they had to work in so-called commandos to replace the German men who were fighting in the war. The prisoners worked with forced labor in agriculture, mining factories, factories or on railroads. The jobs in agriculture were seen as better because the factories and mines were vulnerable to allied bombings. The prisoners who worked, for example, on farms were able to get some food from the harvest. The working commanders didn't have guards and so the prisoners of war had a little more freedom than the workers in the camps. Additionally, French prisoners had the right to move freely, without supervision after work. They were allowed to mix with civilians, but they had to give nearly all of their earned money to the German army. The prisoners only got 70 pfennigs per day, which was enough for one meal. Most of the Polish soldiers who became prisoners of war were turned into civilian workers by German authorities. They were thus, in defiance of the 1929 Convention relative to the treatment of prisoners of war, deprived of their prisoner of war status and the protection they should have offered them. Most prisoners of war worked in agriculture or in factories. Polish Jews were first used as workers in gun factories. After one or two years of work, they were all deported or killed. Prisoners of war who refused to become civilian workers were mostly sent to concentration camps. Poland is the second country which gave workers to Germany. The first is Russia and the third is France. The conditions were really bad because of the lack of medication, food and resources. German people create camps for the prisoners of war of the other countries. They were guardians and the heads of these places. They killed a lot of people, mostly Jews, Polish, French and Russian. But on the other hand, Germans fought as soldiers in the war to and were caught as prisoners. For example, about 3 million German soldiers were captured by the Soviet Union between 1941 and 1945. Of those, more than 1 million died. Weakness, hunger and disease were big problems in the gulags, the Russian prison camps. After the war, German prisoners were deported to the USSR as forced laborers. More than 300 camps were built in remote areas to keep them in detention. German prisoners of war were in great demand for logging, the construction of bridges and dams, and many other types of work. The last German prisoners of war came back to Germany as late as 1956. We studied the work and experiences of the camp for the French, Germans and Poles. Most of the prisoners worked on farm or in a factory where they made weapons or munitions. The working conditions were not good because the hygiene of, the, of life was deplorable. Indeed, they did not eat much, they did not sleep. All things, in addition to the work done, increasing the death rate.
In general, the treatment of the prisoner depended in their nationality, but also on the country in which they were imprisoned.